organic versus inorganic compounds. The difference between organic and inorganic compounds. Organic and inorganic compounds form one of the primary bases for chemistry. The study of organic compounds is termed as organic chemistry and the study of inorganic compounds is inorganic chemistry. These are said to be one of the large class of members. The primary difference that lies between these organic compounds and inorganic compounds is that organic compounds always have a carbon atom while most of the inorganic compounds do not contain the carbon atom in them. Almost all the organic compounds contain carbon hydrogen or a simple CNH bond in them. The most common fact that differentiates organic compounds from inorganic compounds is that the organic compounds mainly result from activities of a living being, whereas inorganic compounds are obtained from the natural processes which are not related to any of the life forms on earth or any result of human experiments which are conducted in laboratories. The difference between organic and inorganic compounds does not end with the presence or the absence of carbon atoms in them. Note that containing carbon is not sufficient for a compound to be considered organic. Let us now talk about the difference between the two compounds. First, organic compounds are characterized by the presence of carbon atoms in them, while most inorganic compounds do not have carbon atoms in them, but some exceptions do exist. Two, Organic compounds consisting of hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and their other derivatives. While inorganic compounds, they do not possess hydrogen or oxygen and their derivatives. Next, organic compounds are said to be more volatile and also highly inflammable, while inorganic are not inflammable and are non-volatile in nature. Next, organic compounds exist in the form of solids, gases and liquids while inorganic compounds exist as solids. Organic compounds also are insoluble in water while inorganic compounds are soluble in water and also non-soluble in some of the organic solutions. Organic compounds have the carbon-hydrogen bonds while inorganic do not have the carbon-hydrogen bonds. Organic compounds are mainly found in the most of the living things while inorganic compounds are found in non-living things. Organic compounds form covalent bonds, while inorganic compounds form ionic bonds between the atoms of molecules. In most aqueous solutions, organic compounds are poor conductors of heat and electricity, while in the same solutions, inorganic compounds are known to be good conductors of heat and electricity. Examples of organic compounds include fats, nucleic acids, sugars, enzymes, proteins, and hydrocarbons fuels, while inorganic compounds examples include nonmetals, salts, metals, acids, bases, substances which are made from single elements. Organic compounds have high melting and boiling points. On another hand, inorganic compounds have low melting and boiling points. Organic compounds are biological and more complex in nature, while inorganic compounds are of mineral and not much complexity in nature. Organic compounds cannot make salts, while inorganic compounds can make salts. The rate of reaction is slow in organic compounds, while inorganic compounds have a high rate of reaction. Examples of organic compounds or molecules Molecules associated with living organisms are organic. This include nucleic acids, fats, sugars, proteins, enzymes, and hydrocarbon fuels. All organic molecules contain carbon, nearly all contain hydrogen, and many also contain oxygen. The following are some of the examples, DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, table sugar or sucrose, benzene, methane, ethanol or grain alcohol. Examples of inorganic compounds Inorganics include salts, metals, 
substances made from single elements and any other compounds that don't contain carbon bonded to hydrogen. Some inorganic molecules do, in fact, contain carbon. Examples are table salt or sodium chloride, carbon dioxide, diamond, silver, sulfur. Organic compounds without carbon-hydrogen bonds. Few organic compounds don't contain carbon-hydrogen bonds. Examples of these exceptions include carbon tetrachloride and urea.